The beautiful thing about property investing is there's not just one way to get there. In fact, there's hundreds of different strategies. You could develop, you could renovate, you could flip, you could time markets. You could do so many different things. These are just my ideas and the things that I'm personally following through on and the things that I help our clients follow through on. When I first got started as an investor, I thought that I had to literally own 10, 20, 30 properties to be financial free. And this was off the back of reading books like 10 properties in 10 years, zero to 100 plus properties in 3.5 years. And that was all of the literature around. There weren't videos like this, there weren't the amazing podcasts out there, there weren't the amazing blogs that are out there now. So in today's video, I wanna show you just how easy it is to achieve financial freedom with two completely different but similar strategies to get from where you are today to where you want to be, which financial freedom to me is all about slowing down, deciding where you want to be and creating choices in your life. Now, for some of you, you may just want to sit on a beach for the rest of your lives. Um, for others, maybe it's to find more meaningful work, to spend more time with your kids, to volunteer your time, to start a business, or maybe you wanna go really hard and create a legacy and wealth for your family and future generations. But whatever it is, it all starts with a foundation. Now, the first strategy that I'm gonna talk about today is called the two properties to financial freedom strategy. The second strategy is the four properties to financial freedom strategy. So it all gets started in terms of the first strategy with buying a home now this first home could be worth in today's example let's say that we go out there and we buy a home worth um, four hundred thousand dollars now that home that we buy for four hundred thousand dollars rents for four hundred bucks a week then after we bought this home we come and we build a secondary home or a secondary dwelling, or a granny flat, or an auxiliary unit, or a tiny home. There's so many different names for this. And let's say that we spend $140,000 building this secondary dwelling, and that rents for another 300 bucks a week. So effectively, we've gone out there and we spent $540,000, and we're getting $700 a week in the hand. Now, what's really cool about this strategy, which is the two properties to financial freedom, is there's a bunch of different ways you can do it. Now, I call this first stage the accumulation phase. And as it states, this is the phase that you go out there and you actually buy the assets that are gonna make you financially free in the future. Now, whether you go out there and buy one home and build a granny flat, or you go out there and you buy two homes and then come back and build two granny flats in the future, it's completely up to you. Now let's say that you'd completed this strategy, you've got your two houses and your two granny flats, you've got $700 a week times two, which effectively gives you $1,400 a week in today's money. Now the thing I love about property and the reason why so many people globally have invested and lots of high net wealth and business people invest in property is property values and rents have historically gone up a little bit faster than inflation each year. So let's say that this $1,400 a week increases by 2.5% per year for the next 15 years. $1,400 a week in 15 years with a 2% increase per annum is gonna now be $2,000 per week of cash flow in your life. If we times that by the 50 weeks of the year, we're now got $100,000 per annum of total income. Now, that is stage one where you go out there and buy the properties and this is how you get towards that $100,000 per annum of passive income in the future, which takes you from after you've completed step one to what I call the consolidation phase. And all consolidation phase is, is okay, I've got these properties. I know in the future based on this scenario, they're gonna give me about 100 grand a year of income. 
how the hell do I pay them off? And that's what phase two is all about consolidation, paying off the debt as quickly as you can while still having an incredible lifestyle. Now, what I love about this type of property, if you were to put down a deposit in cash and you were to set it as an interest-only home loan, there's gonna be some extra money coming in because you've got $700 a week of income on whatever your debt position is gonna be. Now, in the consolidation or the second phase, you can use that extra surplus income to pay off some debt. You can use the tax benefits that the brand new granny flats give you each year to pay off some debt. You can pay some principal and interest off the loan. You can chip in a little bit more of your own money each year. There's so many ways that you can pay off these properties fast. I can't see anyone not being able to execute this strategy over the long term. Now, when I first started investing, I was earning $45,000 per year working as a graduate. And I was able, I was living at the time um, out of home. And then after that, just at my parents' house for a while while I saved some money. And I used those savings that I was creating to go buy my first property. Now, unfortunately, I didn't understand this at the time and I went out there and bought a unit so I didn't have the potential to do this but I've lived and I've learned since then and I think this is an extremely simple and easy strategy for so many people to follow. I'm just going to wipe this whiteboard out and then I'm going to come back and talk about the four properties to financial freedom strategy which is similar but a little bit different and a little bit faster than this one. Now the beautiful thing about property investing is there's not just one way to get there. In fact, there's hundreds of different strategies. You've just heard my two properties to financial freedom strategy. There's the four properties to financial freedom strategy, but you could develop, you could renovate, you could flip, you could time markets, you could do industrial, commercial, you could do so many different things. These are just my ideas and the things that I'm personally following through on and the things that I help our clients follow through on. Now, the four properties to financial freedom strategy is interesting because it's not just using the two houses with the two granny flats to ultimately get financially free, but it's adding in another couple of properties. So it really depends on, the, on you as the investor as to which order you wanna do them. You could buy one home, build one granny flat, buy another home, build another granny flat, then your two other properties down the line. Or you could go out there and buy some really high quality single income homes. And then once you've bought those, then go for the more cash flow orientated properties. Now, this is the accumulation phase, or this is phase one of this particular journey. Again, we know that if we follow the numbers from the two property strategy, these will be getting us 100 grand per year of income or you could potentially keep all four of these properties in the future. And yes, these aren't gonna rent as well, but these could be really, really high quality blue chip assets that create wealth and security for you in the future. And you could sell them or you could pass them on to your children. What I love about this strategy though, is it speeds things up. So you've got two choices at this point, once you've accumulated the properties in phase two, and I'll just, get my little red pen out, I'm getting a bit muddled up with my pens here, <laughs> um, is you can do um, it the easy way, which is to just hold all properties, all four of them, and you just hold them forever. You know, that's the strategy there. It's simple. You just accumulate these really high quality properties in um, around about 15 to 20 years, the combination of rent from them should be giving you about 150K per year worth of income once you've owned them all outright. The other way that you can do it here, so I'll call this 2A, is 2B. Now this is what I've personally done, which I call this the easy way, and I call this 2B the fast way. Now, our strategy here is to continue to hold the two houses and two granny flats forever. But what we do at this stage is when we buy these second or the third and fourth properties, we hold them for maybe seven to 10 years, maybe even up to 15 years. And the gains that you make on these two properties, instead of having to bust your ass to pay these ones off outright or being really, really disciplined like I talked about in the two property strategy to pay off the debt, you literally sell these two properties, 
in 15 years or whenever they've doubled in value and you pay off the debt completely outright using the power of leverage and the power of that long-term capital growth. Now, I've done this, I've sold seven of these properties and I have four of these properties sitting up here. Now, I still don't have um, these properties paid off but I'm slowly working on that. But by selling seven of these types of properties over the last 10 years, it's enabled me to move forward much, much faster than the average investor. So they're two super simple ways to get to financial freedom. Obviously, two properties to financial freedom is a beautiful place to start. But if you want to take it further like myself and my brother Simon do, then this four property strategy could be one way that you could speed it up and make financial freedom a little bit sooner in your life. I wish you all the best as you continue to invest in the future. I hope you've enjoyed today's video. You're now one step closer.